Okay, so a lot of people already know that there's some kind of situation between EA and Nintendo. And that being said though, nobody exactly knows what it is. I know what it is. So check this out, right? This is the situation. It looks like um, at one point, Nintendo actually reached out to EA or something of that nature, right? Um, in order to go ahead and get the online infrastructure working for the Nintendo network. Now what happened was that EA actually went through this and uh, kind of got a list of everything that Nintendo wanted and they actually um, did their best to go ahead and put it through. Now, the thing was is that every time they were done, Nintendo would ask for something else, would ask for something else, would ask for something else, right? So at one point, EA was like, well, wait a minute. I'll tell you what we'll do. Why don't we just put Origin on, a, on the system? It's actually, it has everything that you want. So they were like, okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's put Origin on it. So what happened was that they put Origin on it, right? It was actually working on making a compatible version of Origin to put on Nintendo. Now, mind you, this costs a lot of money, a lot of manpower and things of that nature. So after spending like literally millions of dollars to go ahead and get this up, or thousands of dollars rather, to get this up and running, Nintendo turns around and says, nah, never mind, we don't want it. Nah, we don't want it. And literally left EA withholding the bill. So now I know you're thinking, well, yeah, that sounds like a good reason to be mad, right? A good reason not to be wanting to be bothered with your type of company. Now, this actually does sound familiar for those who know their gaming history. Nintendo was in a similar situation like this before with Sony. In fact, that's how the PlayStation was actually born. Because of the fact that Sony was originally working on a CD-ROM device for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System to combat the whole CD-ROM for the Genesis. And right around the time when it was trying to present, Nintendo turned around and said, no, I actually don't want this no more. We don't want this no more. We're done. So, it looks like history has repeated itself. Now, this has become a very bad situation because of the fact that, um, well, the thing about it is, is that, how do I explain this? Between the way Origin is actually coming right now, and I've seen like some future versions of Origin, the way it's coming right now, it's actually going to be very... Well, Nintendo would have been on par with the next generation Xbox and the PlayStation 4 if they would have accepted Origin. Um, this includes live streaming, as live streaming with Origin is now um, in the new beta version. However, because of the fact that they decided to go ahead and go against, the, um, go against Origin, go against EA, they lost a lot of features. You know, now I know a lot of people don't like Origin. I gotta say, I've actually seen the better version of Origin, and it actually is actually looking a lot better. Um, I don't know really what to say. I really don't. Um, a lot of people think, well, um, you know, well, I'm glad Nintendo said no against Origin. I'm gonna have to disagree, especially with the content, especially with how Nintendo Network is currently. I would say no, it's actually a bad thing that they actually did not go with Origin. Now, there's also the situation, um, of which can can Nintendo Network do a, a whole bunch of things in terms of online? Well, I don't know anything about Nintendo in terms of they saying that no, you can't use your own online infrastructure. So I'm assuming the answer, of course, is sure, you can do whatever you want as long as you do it your damn self, you know? But that being said, well, you know, a lot of gamers out, I mean, not like gamers, but a lot of people out there, a lot of developers, if you will, already use um, PlayStation Network and Xbox Live and even Steam respectively to go ahead and you do their online infrastructure so if that's being done they're not going to go ahead and actually create their own infrastructure just for one console it ain't happening i agree with that so that's pretty much it so that's actually the real story uh i all this time i actually thought ea was actually the bad guys and they actually went ahead and explained to us exactly what the situation was and i was actually shocked because myself personally i would have gone ahead and uh, i've done the same thing so, along the short of it, it looks like, I don't know what Nintendo was thinking, but they literally shitted, shitted on every single Nintendo fan out there. That's how I take it, honestly. 
Because honestly, um, and judging from what I see, and think about it for a second, EA is a multi-million dollar company. Their online infrastructure is actually very good. Keep in mind that uh, I know a lot of people may not like the distribution service because a lot of people seem to get that wrong. They're like, oh, Steam over Steam over Origin. Well, honestly, you got to understand that Origin is a lot different than what Steam is. Steam is a distribution service, and it does have little online infrastructures. Like, it does have certain servers now and then, but for the most part, it's nothing more than a distribution service. Origin, however, while it does have distribution service, it's more so an online service akin to to Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. So that's actually um, what the situation is right now regarding Nintendo and EA. So um, I just thought I kind of get that all straightened out and tell you exactly what the situation was. Rate, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good night. Zap out.